is up, guys? Welcome into our Thursday Live Boot Camp. As you guys get in and get your spaces set up, no, we will be working with some dumbbells today, so get you some weights ready or get you some jugs of water, some laundry detergent of jugs, whatever you guys have available. Make the best of what you have. But we will be needing some weights for some of our movements, or pretty much all of our movements here tonight. So guys, go on in, get yourself set up, and we'll be back on here in about one minute. Go ahead and kick off tonight's uh, class. So welcome in, and let's have some fun as always. to our advanced training circuit Thursday nights we do use weights so as Nate mentioned if you don't have access to weights you use water jugs canned goods laundry detergent whatever you can get your hands on and we're going to get started guys make sure as always to love share and tag two people in this post that you think would benefit from tonight's workout and we're going to get started with the warm-up all right got two rounds three movements here first things first we're going to get started with some around the world so you're going to need the lightest weight that you can find around. We got two and a half and five pounders here. So maybe you can even just have a water bottle in each hand, a regular 16.9 fluid ounce water bottle. And you want to start position with those legs about shoulder width apart. Palms are going to be positioned forward so you can see that palm to the hands in front of you. Slight bend in the elbows. And from there, keeping those arms around ear level, meaning to the side of the body. You don't want to be too far out or too far behind but directly at about ear range through the side of the body as you come up. Bring those dumbbells all the way together, maintaining that slight bend, and then all the way back to the bottom in a controlled manner. And that up and down motion is gonna be one rep, guys. I'll show you from the side here. Notice those arms stay directly in line with the ears. And then going right back all the way to that bottom. Next up, going down, no weights here, windmills. We're gonna do 20 reps. Big wide stance, you're gonna exaggerate it more so than usual. Slight bend in the knee, and from there we're going opposite hand to foot, and alternating through throughout the entirety of the move. However, be sure that as you see here from the side, you are hinging, pushing those hips back, feeling that slight pull in those hamstrings as you do so, really engaging that posterior side of the body. And last but not least, getting down in that squat plank position, which is going to go into a half burpee as we jump those feet in and out. So you're going to jump in. And jump, and jump back out, staying low, and then that squat in plank position at all times, never coming to a full stand. We're going to get five reps in there, and then go ahead and take it back to the top. So as you saw, seven reps here of the Around the Worlds, going up and down for a total of one rep. Windmills, 20 reps, alternating through, that's 10 and 10, and then five of those half burpees as you just saw. So let's turn this music up, and let's get this thing rolling here. All right, guys, the widest weight that you have available. We're going to get started with around the world, seven reps. So wide stance with your feet, slight bend in the knees. And we're starting in three, two, one. Nice and slow, guys. Really squeeze those shoulder blades. Keep your chest back. Or I'm sorry, your shoulders back, chest forward.
coming up, spread out, big wide stance. Remember, maintain that slight bend in those knees throughout as we go opposite hand and foot, and then we're off. exercises. Still just a warm up, however. And three more. Perfect. All right, windmills coming up. And go. All right, guys, I should be seeing fire emojis from everybody. Go ahead and drop those in the comments and then make your way back. We're going to get started with our main circuit demonstrations. Uh, all right, guys, 
to get through this swiftly and quickly. All right, so first things first, starting off here with our moderate weights, we're going to get into a bicep curl and overhead press. You're going to combine the two to one. So as you breathe it in, as you bring those dumbbells up on the curl, you're going to press those dumbbells immediately overhead once you make it to the top, breathing that air out. So you want to breathe in as you curl up, breathe out as you bring those weights overhead. Also, try to keep those elbows slightly positioned in front of those hips. That way we get that full bicep engagement. Try to keep the core nice and tight and stay away from that leaning and rocking motion. Try to let your arms and shoulders do primarily all of the lifting as you maintain that solid core position. Next up, we're gonna go into our dumbbell deadlift. So, we're gonna get into a shoulder width stance. Dumbbells are gonna be positioned right over the front of the legs. Slight bend in the knees throughout, just like we talked about with those inchworms, I mean those uh, windmills in our warm up. And you just gotta push those hips out, keeping the chin up, shoulders back, chest is high, feeling that nice good pull in those hamstrings as you push those hips all the way behind you. Keep the shoulders back. Notice that the dumbbells also stays very close inside the body. Little bit, little to no separation there as the less you are, I mean, the, the more you keep those dumbbells inside the body, the less you are to round at the spine. The farther you keep those things out here, it's gonna to wanna to cause you to round at the shoulders. So keep those dumbbells inside the body as close as you can. That way you can keep that nice flat spine. Next up from there, guys, we're going into our dumbbell bent rows here. So we're going to get into that hinge position, just like you just done with the deadlifts. But now as we maintain, we're just going to roll up, bring those dumbbells in, keeping the elbows inside the body, trying to pinch those shoulder blades, get a nice good squeeze on those lats right here on the back. Notice that the chin stays up and high, no slouch in the shoulders, and the spine remains flat. All right? Next up from there, guys, we're going into our dumbbell sumo front squats. So, yes, you heard me, sumo. So, that means we're going to get into a very wide stance. Toes are going to be turned out, just as if we were a sumo wrestler. Dumbbells are going to be positioned up on the shoulders. Elbows are remaining nice and high. And from there, you're just going to squat down, pushing through the heels, getting as deep as you can, powering back through the heels on the way up. Breathing in as you sit down, breathe out as you stand back up. And again, guys, you want to be nice and wide. You really want to focus on those inner quads being up inside of those thighs there to get a good, good burn on those muscles. And last but certainly not least, we have our alternating inchworm into a dumbbell row. So really, really fun move here that I like to do. So if you're going to alternate this dumbbell from side to side, you need to go ahead and fill out, make sure you got a good distance between you and that dumbbell. As we're going to go into an inchworm, down to that plank position, Roll that dumbbell and cross it over. So as you make your way down, you're going to grab your dumbbell, keeping those hips nice and tight. Roll, and then cross over, putting that dumbbell on the opposite side. So once you come back down to that move again, now you can roll on the opposite arm. So knees stay slightly bent, hinge on the hips, coming down, getting that pull, core is tight, dumbbell roll, and cross over. So guys, that is going to be our main circle. We got four sets, a curling press, 10 total repetitions, dumbbell deadlifts, 10 total repetitions, dumbbell bent rows, 10 repetitions, and then for our sumo front squats, we have 12 reps there, and as you just saw, the alternating dumbbell rows, those are going to be six reps, three on each arm, a total of six all together, so not 12, just uh, three and three, guys, alternating throughout. Four rounds of this main circuit here, then we're gonna go ahead and move over to our second half of tonight's workout before we go ahead and close out. So guys, I think that's pretty straightforward. If you have any questions or concerns, go ahead and drop them in the comments. We will get to them as soon as possible. But we're gonna start off with the curl and press. So get down, grab your weights. This should be about a moderate weight for you. 10 reps, palms forward. Touching the knees, guys, and let's go. You're curling up, pressing overhead. Make sure to stretch those arms all the way on that curl. Breathe in as you bring those dumbbells up in this curl. Breathe out as you fire those dumbbells overhead. Good. Nice breathing. Stay in sync here. 
Last three. Make sure you breathe in, breathe out. Very important. Excellent, guys. Deadlift coming. You guys are doing awesome. Give you just a slight longer break here before we get into round three. I like it, I like it. We're making great time, guys. Muscles should start feeling fatigued. 
But mentally, you should be ready to go because we're starting in three, two, one. Shoulders back and breathe.
right, guys. You're doing awesome. All right, guys, drop those fire emojis. Let us know when you have completed all reps for all sets of this workout so far. 
You guys are so amazing. So proud of you. We have a short core circuit tonight, guys. So look forward to that. Please don't make it in front of my hair. I know it's looking a little crazy. 
crazy, but it's been a busy month so far, and I just can't seem to catch up with any of my barbers. So our schedules are just not aligning. So I really got to wear this look. I'm like no shave January, February, no shave March. Probably this whole year is going to be a struggle. So that's one set though, guys. Let's go ahead, jump in around two, 15 more V-ups, 25 more crunches, and let's roll. Guys, I've been on a struggle bus all day. Today has not been very, very kind to me. Not at all. And part of that is my own joy, so I only have myself to blame. But I'm still here and I'm still going through it. All right, round three here, 15 more V-ups. As we said, very simple, short, quick circuit here with this. Almost done, round three and we're off. She's 
rotten. She knows it too. I'm over here killing myself and she's falling asleep on my chest. That's why I like being in the car seat. Yeah, I'm saying all that rocking and stuff, that motion. That's pretty good. Ah, all right. <clears throat> guys you know what to do go ahead and say I finished in the comments when you are done all right guys make your way back to the mat we have stretching coming up we have about 10 minutes Don't let it get in the way of what you're trying to do. 
Parenting is parenting, and I'm pretty sure no matter how hard it is, none of us would trade our situations for anything else. Good evening, guys. Left leg out, right leg in. Good evening, guys. It should motivate you that much more because I really want to stop doing those crunches, <laughs> but I have these two little ones watching me, and I'm never going to stop. I'm never going to settle. I'm never going to give up when my kids are watching me like that. It's just not going to happen. I hope you guys dig in deep and feel the same way. So you got to give them something worth watching because they're paying attention whether we like it or not. A few more seconds here. We're going to switch over to the right. super flexible. He don't even got to try. He can just do it. All right. Two feet together. Training, sir. 
Circuit, guys. That is an all body weight program. We provide uh, beginner, intermediate, and advanced modifications for all fitness levels. So you guys can make sure to start there if you're not ready for Thursday night class. And okay, guys, remember, love this. Share this to your page. Tag two people that you think would benefit from these workouts. They're free, no cost, no charge to you. We just want to do our part to be, you know, a difference, especially during these hard times when people are struggling with their health. This is what we can do for you guys. And if you're looking for more, our virtual training club, new and improved, is going to be launched this February, the beginning of February, guys. So make sure to reach out to us, ask to get on that waiting list. You're going to want to be a part of that cost-friendly subscription group. And if you really want one-on-one -on -one individualized attention, you can reach out to Nate or myself about our one-on-one -on -one virtual training options. Guys, we love you. Do you have anything else? I think we're all set, guys. And as always, never give up. Never lose hope. Never settle. We will see you guys back here Tuesday for our beginner's training circuit. And we love you. Have a great weekend.